guys it is danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics and so guys we're going to be talking about uh, the atlantic when are we expecting to see another tropical cyclone developing and also we're going to be talking about major hurricane felicia as well as tropical storm guillermo which are in the eastern pacific basins and felicia as i said it is a major hurricane at this time guys and so i'll be giving you the latest on that is it going to be affecting the hawaiian archipelago i'll cover all of that detail for you in this video and so guys before i go into details all right guys and so first let's kick start things with of course hurricane felicia so as you were seeing we have a major hurricane we have that well-defined eye of uh, the system is quite symmetrical and actually it was a lot stronger than it is now it's just begun weakening guys and so it had peak, peak winds of 145 miles per hour which is cat 4 intensity just about 10 11 miles per hour more and we would have a category 5 major hurricane fortunately at this time it is in the open pacific it is not a threat to land as of right now and so guys let's go to the national hurricane center's cone forecast for felicia and so we're seeing here that uh, the system now has winds of 130 miles per hour still a cat four uh, but we're anticipating more weakening as time goes by as felicia accelerates into conditions that are going to be helping it to gradually lose its intensity and so at this time it is accelerating to the west northwest at 12 miles per hour so it's not a very fast moving tropical cyclone not moving very slowly either and so throughout today we're expecting it to maintain this major hurricane status but by tomorrow we're expecting it to now be a cat 2 hurricane and gradually weaken down to a cat 1 and eventually a depression and so guys we're expecting that it's going to be moving on a west southwesterly track uh, starting maybe about on Wednesday and so it's going to be moving uh, quite south of the Hawaiian archipelago south of, well south of the big islands so most likely the system is not going to be affecting the archipelago with any dangerous conditions uh probably the only thing that is to be concerned about is the surf guys so you don't want to be out going to the beach or going surfing or anything like that uh, when the system is going to be moving by but of course it's going to be a lot weaker so significant impacts are not anticipated uh that coupled with the fact that it's going to be passing south of the archipelago guys and so we're expecting to become most tropical by the end of this week uh, just to the south southeast of the big island and as it makes its way more over into the central pacific and so guys now let us go on to tropical storm guillermo so here we have it on satellite view it is looking a bit disorganized but it is getting in shape it is recently named tropical cyclone and so guys as of right now the system is accelerating to the west northwest at 12 miles per hour so same speed as a uh, Felicia, but we're not expecting that it's going to be strengthened a whole lot. As of right now, it's located just to the southwest of the tip of the Baja California Peninsula. And so it's going to be accelerating mainly westward during the next couple of days throughout most of this week. And then it's expected to weaken to a depression by Thursday, guys. And so it's going to be moving in an unfavorable environment uh, by the midweek or so, but we're anticipating a bit of strengthening. So we're expecting peak winds uh, to be around 65 miles per hour. It's not expected to make it to that cat one stack. Status, uh, fortunately guys but regardless it's going to be offshore so it's not really going to be affecting anywhere and so so it's going to be encountering some dry air as well as a bit of a uh, moderate shear that's really going to be helping the system to not strengthen much and so guys now let's look at what our models are forecasting for both of our tropical cyclones in the EPAC so we have uh, for Felicia here we have most of our models agree for the system to weaken during the next couple of days throughout most of this week and become post tropical by the end of this week and in terms of Guillermo now so we have all of our models expecting that Guillermo is going to remain at tropical storm status uh, and that is also what the National Hurricane Center is expecting of the system so we're not expecting it to become something as significant as Felicia and so we have all of our models in terms of the track of Felicia agreeing that the system will pass south of the Hawaiian archipelago so if you're there guys you don't really have anything much to worry about but I'd say still keep an eye on it because 
because again anything can change at any time and so guys now let's hop over into the Atlantic Basin so what is happening there so as you can see no new tropical cyclones are expected during the next five days so we don't have any disturbances as of right now to watch closely or things like that and why mainly because of the Saharan dust so that is a huge problem for our tropical cyclones right now and so here we have the dust map and we're seeing this very dense plume of dust when you see those oranges go into that red and that pinkish shade that is when you have a lot of dust that suppresses tropical activity because of course tropical cyclones need warm and moist conditions in order to develop and to intensify and so all of that has been inhibited in most of the main development region maybe our very low latitude systems could have a chance but they're still going to be encountering that and there's also a bit of unfavorable shear out there as well so if the saharan dust probably gives it a little bit of a window to develop there is going to be that shear kicking in that is going to prevent it so the rest of july is expected to be mainly quiet uh, but of course we cannot be too confident because things tend to change a lot but based on the saharan dust right now we're definitely not expecting any source of development because this is going to be preventing any convection uh, it's going to be preventing our tropical cyclones from developing and so in terms of the gulf of mexico and just off the east coast and the northwestern caribbean things are quite favorable uh, but let's take a look at the wind shear map and so that was just the saharan dust and so in terms of the wind shear map the gulf is favorable at this time uh, in terms of the wind shear and the saharan dust and definitely the ocean temperatures so the gulf is usually a hot spot for our systems to develop and intensify especially as we approach the peak of the hurricane season so once we're going to be having less dust and a uh, more favorable wind shear, especially as we're going to be heading into next month and the peak which is September we could definitely expect a spike in tropical activity and of course this season has been expected to be quite active not very active like last year was because uh, this time around we're seeing a bit less activity than what was there last year so we really have to wait and see what the outcome is going to be but as of right now the rest of July is expected to be mainly quiet guys we do have some unfavorable shear setting in across most of the Caribbean, which is indicated by the reds the greens mean that the conditions in terms of the wind shear are favorable to accommodate our tropical cyclones and the yellows mean neutral which means that the shear won't be too impactful on our systems when they're trying to develop and so in terms of the satellite view uh, we do have a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity out in the main development region just off Africa and a bit more west uh, kind of low latitude but again guys we're not expecting any development to take place due to that Saharan dust and there's also some unfavorable shear nothing much going on in the Caribbean in the Gulf is relatively clear with just some spots of uh, maybe a bit of convection here and there but nothing too significant guys and so in terms of the ocean temperatures ocean temperatures are definitely supportive across mainly the Gulf and the Caribbean to help any systems that are going to be trying to develop guys so that is the only factor as of right now across most of the North Atlantic Basin that is favorable and will be throughout the hurricane season guys and so guys we just have to wait and see what's going to be the outcome again we're not expecting much throughout the month of july most likely we will not see another tropical cyclone maybe till about early august or so and also over in the epac we have major hurricane felicia expected to gradually weaken throughout this week expected to pass south of the hawaiian archipelago not to bring in any significant or direct impacts to the island chain and we also have guillermo not expected to strengthen much or become a hurricane but it is going to be out in the open Pacific where a bit of strengthening is anticipated throughout the next day or so and so guys that is it for this updated video on the tropics and so guys if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question I will try to respond as best innocent as I can and just remember to always be weather wise